Our project is a uh, variable pitch wind turbine with the CVT transmission. And uh, kind of the, the main part of this project is the ability to pitch the blades back and forth to change the angle of attack. And when you do that, you're essentially generating more power in a way. Uh, so right now, this would, if the wind was actually going towards the device, it would, wouldn't actually be turning. But if we pitched the blades back, we would actually be able to generate more power because of the higher, the uh, more angle of attack. The kind of goal for the project was to be able to uh, maintain an RPM. Like the user would uh, input a set point of an RPM. That way the output RPM is consistent so you always know the kind of voltage that you're going to get out. And so, so first we have the, uh, the pitch that we can vary in and out to increase our angle of attack. And then also we have a, a CVT, which is a continuously variable transmission. So what that does is, is aids in your um, ability to control the, the RPM on the output. As the stepper rotates inside this gear nut, it actuates the CVT mechanism and this part and this part are fixed to the shaft and these two uh, come in and out. So the, the top gear will get bigger as the bottom gear gets smaller and changes the, the gear ratio basically. Basically this one will come all together like that and this one will spread out like this. And then when you go the other way it does the opposite. So we used a rack and pinion on the servo motor, which turns the circular motion of the servo into linear motion on the push rod. And then inside this nose cone, we have the same thing. We have a rack and a pinion on each individual blade. So they rotate all as one piece as the shaft moves in and out. Rack on three sides and the pinion for the each blade. So as you push, it'll change the angle of attack. As you pull back, you'll get your max pitch. These are actual um, wind turbine blades. We scaled down to 11 inches. They're actually 40 meters long. We scaled down. Got these off GrabCAD. <laughs> and then the housing itself we designed just to uh, fit everything, make sure it's nice and neat. And then our third way of changing the RPMs of the device is to use the servo motor to change this actual direction that the turbine is facing. We got a Uno, which controls the stepper, uh, a pick that controls the two uh, servos, and then uh, we have a Mega that controls the LCD uh, and and kind of maintains all of the it's like the master control of everything. We've got a video just showing the thing running. Uh, we have an RPM set value of 200, and that's set by the user inside of a menu. Um, this is the data menu. There's there's f uh, five unique menus. This one reads an average value of RPM at 300 readings. Um, and an average value of voltage at 300 readings. Um, then, if you go up, this is our actual thing. You can see the CVT transmission working. Um, the, you can see the green hobby gears in the back with the DC motor that were reverse biasing to uh, produce voltage. Um, all of the RPM is from, there's a, a photo interrupter that we're using as a rotary encoder. That's what's giving a pulse width that we're turning into RPM. You can see that little, the little red guy right there is the, the, yeah, the photo interrupter is right on the back right here. But yeah, see that little red disc? That's, that's the photo interrupter. That's, it. that's how it reads RPM. Okay, so the, the two modes of operation for the turbine are the uh, uh, manual mode and automatic mode. So in manual mode, uh, these four buttons right here control uh, both the servos for the yaw and the pitch. And you can move the pitch manually in and out, and then you can also use, uh, move the yaw back and forth. When you hit this button and turn it into automatic mode, it runs through a, a program. So it's first it starts out if the RPM is too low, lower than the user set point, the CVT actuates and tries to get it that way. And if that doesn't work, then it pitches the blades. And if the blades max out and that still doesn't work, then it will go to the yaw and try that. And it keeps uh, circulating this code until it finds the exact RPM. So the point of, of uh, maintaining a, a set RPM is that to keep a constant voltage output, no matter if the wind is slow or fast, you can always have the exact same uh, voltage output.